The best WordPress membership plugin just got better, as if that was even possible. Well, it is possible, and I'm gonna show you all these new things that we just released. Sure Members now integrates with WooCommerce, so you can use WooCommerce to sell access to your Sure Members access groups. So on this site, I've gone ahead and created a access group named Cartflows Prime. And all you have to do with WooCommerce is go into a product and then I'll click into a particular product that I want. When someone buys this product, they get added to the access group. You'll probably want to check this virtual box and leave it as a simple product. And when you scroll down, there's this new option here that says add access groups. Essentially, all this means is you would go here, you'd start typing the name of your access group. And when someone buys this product, they're automatically going to be added to this access group. And now this follows the order status. So once this is purchased, the user gets added to the access group. If they request a refund, then they are automatically removed from the access group. If you're using WooCommerce subscriptions and the subscription is canceled or failed payment, they'll automatically be removed from the access group. Now, when you have a list of users and you click into one of the users and you scroll down, this is where you can manually add people to an access group or remove them or see which groups they're in. We've added a new column right here that says integration. And if you're selling access to this group with WooCommerce, we show the WooCommerce logo. If it's Surecart, we're gonna show the Surecart logo right there for you. The next new feature is now Sure Members is aware of LearnDash being on your site as well as the courses in the groups. What this means is you can restrict access to courses with one click or learn dash groups with one click. It's so easy. I'll go into one of my access groups right here. I'll choose my course. Let's go ahead and remove some of my existing rules. And I will go here where it says protected content. I'll scroll all the way down and it knows that learn dash is on the site and it shows me learn dash courses or groups. So I can choose learn dash courses. Let's go ahead and remove that. And then we have some options here. I can start typing in the name of the course. So I believe it's level one and two. There we go. These are the names of my courses, level one and uh, level two, or I could have just chosen all courses if I wanted. Now what's also nice is you can add this to the drip content. So I can drip content a course, say I want uh, level two, let's go and type that in, level two, I want this course, the access given after seven days after enrollment, and let's just get more hyper-specific. How about at 8 a.m. in the morning so that I can queue up an email to go out to all the members that recently signed up and let them know that they now have access to the other course, to this course right here. You can do that now easily with LearnDash. The next new thing is we now have URL restrictions. This is some crazy stuff that some of you are just going to love. So here I am for my protected content. I'm going to choose this option here that says URL matching. So essentially what this is, you can see I've already filled it out right here. Uh, I've entered in a few characters, R-E-S-T, and I've put an asterisk and I've checked this box. Essentially what this means is for any URL in my website, if it has these characters, R-E-S-T, like that, it's automatically going to be restricted and only members of this group will have access. This is certainly a power feature that was requested by many. One of my favorite new features to share members is called user role sync. Now, WordPress natively has something called user roles, and there's lots of plugins that could take advantage of user roles, and there's custom code for user roles, and we've made it very easy to first create a custom user role and then assign it to one of your access groups so that whenever anyone is added to an access group, that user role will also be added to their user record. People that use some different page builders are going to absolutely love this new feature. And that's because most advanced page builders already come with visibility settings based upon and what one of the options and there is the user role. So now all of those users are going to very easily be able to restrict parts of a page on their site 
just using the native functions inside of their page builder tool. So let me show you first how to create one of these user roles and then how to sync it up with a group. It's so easy. So click on our settings here in the top right, click on where it says create new user role, give it a name, click on create role and you'll see it right there. That's all there is to it. So I created a user role named VIP club. So step one is to create the user role. Let's go back. Let's click into one of our access groups and you're gonna see this new option right here that says user role sync. And all you have to do is go in the drop down and choose that new user role that you created. And that's all that there is. Now, now when someone is added to this access group, they're also gonna get this user role. And this is gonna open up a ton of possibility for you developers that are using Shure members. Now the next enhancement was requested by a few people and I got to say it really made sense. I had thought about it, but um, wasn't sure if that was something that users really wanted and we listened. So we have new options for the block editor as well as the menu items to show if someone is in a group or is not in a group. Let me show you how that works. So I'm gonna go to any blog post right here and I'll go ahead and click on a block and here's our options that says restrict this block. So this is what's new, is in or is not in. It's basically show if someone is in this group, that's how it was before, but now we've added is not in the group. So now if someone's not in this group right here, they're, they're gonna see this piece of content. And we've also added this inside of our Elementor integration as well as inside of our menu integration. So let me show you the menus. So if I go into appearance and then menus, we have these menu items. You can expand any single one. We have the same settings right here. You would choose is in or is not in and then select your user group and that's all there is to it. And now the next new feature is we've added a simple login pop-up. And this is based upon how you have the settings of your group for unauthorized access. So let me go into this course right here and you can see I am restricting based on URL. Here's my unauthorized access. So if you have it set to redirect, basically when someone lands on a restricted page, they're just gonna be redirected to this place. But when you have it on message, we have some different options. So the new option is this right here where it says enable login button. Just go ahead and toggle it on. And this is what it's gonna look at. This was the message that I put in there. I wrapped it in some HTML and there's a join button here. And there's also a login. And so when someone clicks on login, they're just gonna get this simple modal. They'll be able to enter their username and password, click on login, there'll be a page refresh and the content will no longer be restricted for them. This way they don't have to go to a different place and log in when they already have access, they can go straight to the page and click on login. So all you have to do is go into your, your access groups and toggle this one switch if this is how you have things set up. And lastly, I wanna show you an improvement. This was also a suggestion. So for the unauthorized access, we ask you to enter in a URL here, as well as if you choose redirect, you have to put a URL in here. And what we did is we made it, so let's go ahead and delete it. You see how it says type to search? So once you start typing the, the name of a page or a piece of content on your site, it's gonna just suggest it before you'd have to copy in the link. So say I wanted this to go to a checkout page, I'm starting to check, uh, type it in, and we have all these options right here that have these letters like this. So I can just go ahead and say, hmm, maybe this is the page right here that I want someone redirected to, and then I can click on save on this access group. I know those were a ton of improvements uh, for this one update. We were just putting them all together. Actually, it took the team about two weeks to put that together. And we've got more things coming that we're really excited about. I'm really excited about digital download protection based upon access group. That's something that is exciting as well as bulk editing on the user table. So if you have a bunch of users there and you want to in bulk add them to an access group or even remove them from an access group, you're gonna be able to do that too in the next update. Hey, this is Sure Members. I think it's the best membership 
plugin for WordPress by far. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. And also please tell people about this plugin. It's a newer one. Uh, we like what we're doing. We think you like what we're doing and uh, it would help us to have you help us get the word out on this amazing plugin. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up. It's going to help it circulate. I'll see you in the next video.